crafty friends welcome back to my channel this is marissa today i have a scrap diva designs team project i have been um behind on sharing little walkthroughs of what i created on here for youtube uh i also have a tutorial that i need to finish up for you guys because it, i was going to show how i made the little flip-flop um album but i'm going to do a um tutorial for that one anyways so you guys know to head over to scrapdivadesigns.com and if you want to pick up these dies that I'm playing with, they are pre-order. It's the Flip Flop Mini Album and the Jelly Tote. So these two have sold out so fast and I don't, I am not surprised I should say because they are easy and quick to put together. I think I've already created two Flip Flop Mini Album. This is what i came up with for one i am i think it's kind of simple just slightly decorated um it's so cute though the album i love the paper i found it at joanne's it's got like these pretty polka dots uh that are like metallic and they match the paper so i kept it in green because you know beach theme i did make a huge chunky charm dangle you have to shop but all the beads come from there and cabochons uh this one just has beads and then the words ones the sun and the beach those are from my stash that i found a little kit i think at like the 99 cents or something like that um they're just bright colors and i thought they worked perfectly these flowers actually come from a shop on instagram and i'll have to go link it um she just sold them they're the actually the scrap diva designs edge flower so i thought that was great someone else made them and i jumped on it. and the colors worked perfectly to match my album so cute you guys and this sticker is just a big um i think it's like echo park or simple stories but it's an older collection maybe two three years old it's like a pool collection okay so you guys saw the album i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram i think i have more like that's where i like to share more on instagram this is the final product and it's pretty chunky i did do a lot of fussy cutting more than anything else i just i don't know why i love to do that i think that's a bit relaxing but for the cover i kept it just simple and embellished with all these little paper flowers flip flops some stickers uh this big sticker comes from a six by twelve sheet that I found at Salvation Army. Just added the little flowers from the die set, which is this one here. Some buttons. I just thought it was cute. Now, I just basically it's a photo album, so you can put your pictures. So there is space in between um, all the embellishments or, that I create out of paper. This is just the swimsuits that are part of the paper. I fussy cut them. I did add the word cocktails because I had this little coconut drink there that I thought would be cute and then over here I did add some of the starfish those are from the 3d pail bucket I believe is what it's called it's super cute okay over here I did add some more little flip-flops the little flowers just this set again and then just stickers that I had in my stash that were beach theme i did do more of the shorts here the swim trunks i did add some charms here with this little tag this is an old sticker i don't even know the company name i don't know that they're still around and i have all these other stickers i thought that'd be cute and then i did this page i added some of the flip-flops i added more of the flowers which is this set here they're super cute i didn't add any leaves though i kind of just left it as is but i try to make it you know cute i don't know i just love the way it turned out i love this paper it's so cute look at these flip-flops they're like gingham so cute and then this one i was gonna do like surfer girl but i did not have a like surfer guy sticker apparently so i just put the word surfing from the summer words which i cannot find them um i need to look for them and then i added the surfboards on both sides uh the paper had a bunch of surfboard images on them so i fussy cut them out and then just added stickers so cute and then the back sheet i need to go get another one of those papers out because i want to do that on the back i just haven't done that and then i'm going to add some ribbon here i just i kind of want to get fabric and tear it but i have to go through my whole fabric stash to find the colors that match but that or ribbon so we'll see what i do now the other one i'm gonna share i've already shared the bag itself but i finally finished it 
I thought you guys would like to see it. Look at this chunky charm. Oh, I love it. Oh, stuck. Okay. So for this one, you guys know that I did the little flip flop album in half. I just, I'm going to create a little um, tutorial to show you guys how I did it. It's so easy. Just some stitch hun. Um, and then I created a sequence mix. I don't know how to make good ones, but all I did for this one was just find colors that match the album in my stash and just went with it. Uh, I don't know. It kind of works. It kind of, kind of works before this falls over because it tends to fall over. Okay. So I ended up going in, I did not have a month. They're called Monstera leaves. And I've been looking through my stash to see if I had any, and I did not. I thought I purchased a set of leaves that had it, but apparently not. So I went on to my, um, silhouette library and found this set here it's all together as one piece so i decided to cut it out of white cardstock that's like 110 pound and then just colored it with my copics marker i uh like the way it turned out i'm surprised at how well it looks i thought i was gonna mess it up by coloring it but I think the colors turned out really cute and then I did use Erica's uh tags that's the I think it's called like this circle scalloped shaker tag uh it was from the last month's uh release and so I made a shaker there you can't see it but the little tag parts back here and then I just added this sticker that's part of that um one that I was using for the other album and then oh my gosh you guys I love this chonky little flower these were from a uh, happy crafter shop put these out last for june kit and they sold out so fast i didn't get a chance to go get more i'm hoping she'll bring them back uh, but they're so cute on the bottle cap i thought that was so cute so i made all these little charms here out of the happy crafter shop beads and i just love the way they turned out so cute and then of course i did finally embellish this um packaging of sticker or they're like metal embellishments that are beach theme and i did use uh scrap diva designs the hearts uh bag topper and i added this flower that i just made with the sakura flower i'm gonna list everything that i used in the description box so you guys know to head over and pick it up and then these were the tags that i had loose in there i just put them in a little self-adhesive bag and then added this fun sticker that i had in my stash so cute because they're little flip-flops and that is it love the way this turned out i think i need to add something else because it's just there so i'm going to see what i maybe like a treat or something in there i don't know but i love the way this turned out it's so cute these two albums are adorable with the little matching totes. I just love it. So if you guys want to pick these up or pre-order, I should say, head over to ScrapDivaDesigns.com. And don't forget to use my discount code, MWalker10. And also check out hashtag ScrapDivaDesigns. Lots and lots of ideas. Everybody is creating the cutest things. So thank you guys so much for watching and come back for my next video because I've got so many projects to share. Bye.